Today, we're going to review how to set up a Pontum node on a public cloud provider. For this demo, we will be using DigitalOcean as our public cloud provider, but you can also use any other cloud provider such as AWS or Google Cloud. In the DigitalOcean dashboard, click Create New Droplet. We recommend using this configuration, Ubuntu, the basic plan, for CPU, you can choose regular Intel and an 8 gigabyte 4 core CPU. Enter your password and choose a host name like Pontum node, then create your droplet. Wait while your droplet is being created. Note your server IP address. Recommend copying and pasting it into a note where you'll be taking other notes throughout this tutorial. Connect to your Droplet Access Console. Launch the console. Great, your console is now up. Now we need to do some prep for setting up the node. You can find all the steps linked in this video. First, update your repo, copy paste the init code into your server console. Next, install Docker. Check that it works by calling version. Next, install Docker Compose. Check version to make sure it installed correctly. Next, go to the Bootstrap repo linked in this video and follow all the instructions there. You already installed Docker and Docker Compose, so next, clone the GitHub repo. Set up the environment. Next, build the Docker image. Wait while it loads. Next, let's generate the keys, copy, and save the output. Next, we're going to need to add the Nimbus key, copy the entire 
command and add in your mnemonic secret phrase, replacing it in the command. Copy the entire run command and paste it into your console. Next is becoming a collator. Now that we know our key, we can navigate to extrinsics in polkadot.js UI. You can access this from the staking tutorial in our docs. However, first, we need to make sure that we have a Pontum testnet account. You can access UUI via our docs or search for our testnet chain in the polkadot.js.ui. Add an account. And make sure you save your mnemonic secret phrase. Don't give this phrase to anyone as it is your secret. Name the account and add a password. Next, you're going to want to copy your account address and send it to the Pontum faucet on Telegram to receive some test pont. Copy and paste your address to the bot, and it will send you some test pont necessary to launch your node. Now navigate to extrinsics. In the UI, choose Author Mapping under Submit the following extrinsic. Choose Add Association Author ID in the function and put your hex key, hex public key, in the Author ID field. This is from the output that you copy pasted earlier. Make sure you use the hex public key. Submit the transaction, enter your wallet password, sign and submit, and wait for the transaction to go through. Great. Now let's check that the author map correctly. Navigate to chain state. Choose author mapping palette under selected state query and choose mapping with deposit and put in your public key in the author ID field. In the polka.js UI, navigate to chain state. Choose author mapping palette under selected state query. Choose mapping with deposit and put your public key in the author ID field. Click the plus sign button to make the call. And here you see the output showing that your key was mapped. Now we will need to copy the following script from the staking docs. Navigate to JavaScript and replace the code, then press run. Copy the number for the candidate poll size. Now you'll need to create your collator candidate in extrinsics and put the amount of pot you want to bond. Navigate to extrinsics, choose parachain staking for the extrinsic 
you want to submit. Choose Join Candidates. And choose how much you want to bond and submit your transaction. Uh, make sure that you add 10 zeros in this instant in front of the bond. So if you're bonding 1,090, make sure you add 10 zeros at the end. Click Submit Transaction and wait for the transaction to go through. Great. Now you want to launch your node. Copy and paste this Docker Compose command into your console. Ignore these warnings. You can now also inspect the logs with this command. And as an optional step, you can also add monitoring to your node with this command. Copy paste it into your console. Add in your server IP address into your browser and add the port number 3000. Log into Grafano, admin admin. Navigate to browse to your node dashboard and congratulations, your node is now working.